April 23rd, Saturday morning. I hope you had your coffee already. I'm about to get mine in just a few minutes. I'm such so blessed to be in front of you today. I just want to share this word. I'm excited about it. The, the title is Turn It For Good. Turn It For Good. And we come from Proverbs 15 and 32. And it reads like this. If you reject discipline, if you reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. How many times have we heard our parents say, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. And we roll our eyes like, really? It's going to hurt you more. But truly, it really does hurt God when he has to correct us. But it's important that we get correction. That correction is not to destroy us, but to build us up. And many times people fall away from faith from the correction that they get. And I have an understanding that God does this out of his love for us. He doesn't want us to fall away. He wants us to, to take the, the correction and get better. And how do we do that? By building a relationship with God, coming to him and asking him what he want of us and listening to what he says and moving forward. There's nothing that's unforgivable to God. God can forgive us and he wants to forgive us. If you're going through a point of time today where you think that God has been harsh and hard to you, go to him in prayer and listen to what he has to say. And when you truly listen, you understand that it was all out of love and it's for the correction, for the, what was best for you. Family, turn it to good. Anything that you felt that was horrible and bad that you've done, turn it for good by trusting the Lord. It wasn't there to hurt you or destroy you. I love you, but God loves you more. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, we just thank you for the correction, Lord Father. We thank you for the, the discipline, Lord Father, to strengthen us, Lord God, so we can hear your word, know you better, Lord Father, and not only know you better, but do better, Lord God, to help those that might fall away as well. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.